Here's an easy one that everybody likes and it's good for a crowd. I'm just gonna demo a couple of them. Um, twice stuffed potatoes. You might know how to do this, but if I give you a tip or two or a reminder that they're so yummy, why not? I poked, I scrubbed them, poked a couple holes in them and I microwave them. I'm not gonna bake them. Um, and here's a tip. Like they're going to be sliced and open like this in the casserole pan, right? So you don't wanna cut it like this because then it would have to sit up on this end and that won't work, see? So you get it to it's where it naturally goes and then you slice it this way. Say so we're gonna poke it in the middle, go around the horn, okay? And then each side, is able to, these are cooled down a little bit, so this might not work so good, like that. Because if they were sitting like this, they don't wanna stand up, okay? So that's one. How's this little bugger wanna go? Not like that, like this. So we'll cut him how he wants to stand up real pretty, okay? Yeah, these are really good for a crowd. Now, these are big ones, but, oh, I need a spoon. Oh, I have a better idea how I do these anyway. The castanets, right? I have four sizes of these, and they all, I use them all, I'm telling you. Um, I think I can get away with this little guy. So I'll hold it in my hand to steady and just circle and put it in a bowl like this, okay? My old trusty Tupperware. And I wanted a deep bowl because a lot of times I will use the mixer. It's really what you're doing. You're making ma fancy mashed potatoes and then you're gonna fill them back up. I actually use these little scoops also to, to make a cavity for my um, zucchini boats. You know, try and get as much as you can. My other tip is when I'm finished with these four in here and then some, I oil the back of this so it gets crispy. Now in the restaurants, when they first came, I guess it was in the early 80s, that potato skins uh, were a thing. See, I'm gonna go down low like this. I should do it so you can see. Um, the restaurants used to deep fry the skins and they were actually real potato skins. And then they would fill them. And that's why they were uber delicious. Not like the frozen kind you get now. Uh, I won't say no to one of those frozen kind if you invite me over, but, but these are so much better like this. Okay, let's go quickly here. Oops, look it, I made a boo-boo. Does it matter? Eh, nope. That's the beauty of cooking at home. Nobody's gonna say no to this delicious twice stuffed potato, but I do like the skins crispy, just like it was a potato skin, you know a stuffed potato skin. One more for demo, and then I'm gonna, I don't know how many I'm gonna make, we'll see. But I love to make these for company, and then they keep nice and warm in the oven, and everybody goes, ooh, potato skins, and always have a, like a little bit of extra sour cream on the side. So after this, I like some butter, nice and soft. Oh man, you know what? This butter is like, cause it's cold, it's really hard. And I'm not gonna use my mixer for them. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I just zapped the butter a little bit, look. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in. Think baked potato. What do you like in your baked potato? We like sour cream, we like bacon, we like chives, we like purple onion. Whatever you like in yours, this is a pastry cutter that I use when I make pie dough and such. But I don't wanna get out my mixer for this little bit. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sour cream. You can leave that out if you don't like it, but we like it. Actually, I'm putting more in, so there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of onion in too. Bear with me while I'm, I do my little onion, okay? Just do a little bit. Look at how I'm leaning my uh, arm, I call it anchoring, so that I'm a little bit more precise because I want these little. 
because these potatoes are already cooked, the skins are already cooked. Let me just chop some off like this. A little bit. Just a little bit. And pretty minced up. Okay. Put those in. Like that. Okay, now let's get to mix it again. Mix that in, and then of course, what am I missing, guys? Are you thinking? Wouldn't be potatoes. Uh, it's twice of potatoes with that cheese. When we worked in the restaurant together, that's where Thane and I met. A lot of you already know that. We had baked potatoes. And we had five different toppings. It wasn't that long ago I said the thing. Do you remember the order? Because you would write, um, you know, an abbreviation for the baked potato when you put in your check to the kitchen. And number one was... Um, uh, butter and the last one was you know sour cream and cheese but they went like uh, butter bacon you know all the way through and then chives if they wanted it but you would ask the customer and they would say oh I'll have butter and cheese and you would do three and five you know so I know whatever the things you remember 40 years ago right so we'll get some cheese in there any kind of cheese you like and for this I'm gonna just use my spoon and then what you're going to do is you're going to just fill up these cavities of the potato. And I might add more cheese on top so it's purdy. Okay. There you go. You don't want to overbeat this. You just want to get it mixed up pretty good. Okay. And then you can use a bigger scoop of lupa. See, just a nice mixture to fill that up. Get in there evenly, squish it down in, okay? I just do a little bit at a time. I can always go back and add to the other ones, but you don't wanna overfill it at first. Get in there. Two, there's our little whatever one. It'll be fine. Salt and pepper should go in this too, but I didn't do that. I can do it at the end if I want. Goes right back in. And then I look at them and say, who needs a little bit more? Who needs a little less? Make them pretty. Pretty food. Nice to eat. Oopsie. So take my hand and just do that. Then I'll add some cheese. I'll oil the bottoms. Put them in the casserole with a whole bunch of other of their buddies. And then you will see how delicious they look, okay? I really should have put salt and pepper in, in the mix, but I'm still a rookie at this, right? You get the idea. I'll show you the final result.